Hi boys and girls, Miss Mandy is here. I get to talk to you while you're in your home. Um, the fun thing about God's word is we can take it wherever we go, whether we're at church for Sunday school or even when we're at home. But first I wanted to share some ideas with you, um, with your mom and dad about some of the fun things that we do when we're in the pre our class at church. So one of the fun things we do um, is a song by Lori Berkner Band called the Goldfish Song. And we like to swim around and pretend like we're goldfish. Um, so you might wanna check that out with your kiddos. Um, another one we do is called Tootie Ta. Um, you could look up that on YouTube and find a video. Um, it's a song that will get stuck in your head over and over and over. So be prepared for that, but the kids have a lot of fun with it. Another one we enjoy is going on a bear hunt. And you can, Change that around with many different variations if you want to, um, but you could also find that on YouTube or online. Um, so those are fun activities we do in the classroom to, to have some fun and engage all of our body parts um, while we're in the preschool classroom. So I'm going to get ready um, to teach you a story, but before I do, I thought we'd better get some of our wiggles out. So boys and girls, are you ready? Will you join me? We're going to wiggle our fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers just like this? And then we're going to wiggle our toes. Wiggle your toes around. Now we're going to wiggle our shoulders. And then we're going to wiggle our nose. Can you wiggle your nose with me? Now no more wiggles are left in me. So I can be still as still can be. All right, boys and girls, can you open them? Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, fold them in your lap. Boys and girls, we're going to close our eyes and we get to talk to God right now. So let's pray together, shall we? Hello, Father. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your true word, the Bible. Thank you that we can know who you are through your word. Would you help us to listen carefully to these true words this morning? In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. All right, boys and girls. Well, I have a special story today that comes from my favorite book. Remember, my favorite book in the whole world is the Bible because the Bible is true. These are God's words and they're true because God cannot lie. So all of the words in this book, they are true. And today we are going to learn about a prophet named Habakkuk. Remember, a prophet who would talk to the people for God. And we've been learning about how the, God's people disobeyed, didn't, didn't they? They didn't love God with all their hearts, and they didn't love God with all their minds. Um, they loved other things instead of the one true God. Or they thought they could love many gods, and God says, no, there is one true God. So today we're going to learn about Habakkuk. And that's kind of a, a silly, hard name to say. So will you guys say that with me? Let's say it together. Habakkuk. Habakkuk, very good. Well, Habakkuk was a prophet, and he prayed to God. And he said, God, how long do I have to wait? I cry for you for help, but do you hear me? You see, boys and girls, bad things were happening in Judah. Habakkuk had told God all about the bad things that were happening but the people were still disobeying. They were not loving God with all their hearts. And Habakkuk said, God, why do bad things keep happening? But boys and girls, God heard Habakkuk. In fact, God always knows everything. He knows what we think in our minds. He knows what we love in our hearts. And God knew what was happening in the world. And God said to Habakkuk, Habakkuk, look around. I am going to do something amazing. But if I told you what I was going to do, you wouldn't believe me. God told Habakkuk that Judah's enemies, God's people, their enemies, the mighty Babylonians were coming and they were strong and they were fast. The Babylonians would take God's people to Babylon and put them in jail. God told Habakkuk, it may seem like the bad guys are always winning right now, but one day they won't win anymore. God promised that one day he would punish the Babylonians for doing wrong things. The Babylonians would take God's people away from their homes, but not forever. One day God would bring his people back to their land. 
Habakkuk asked God to change the people's hearts. He wanted the people to love God. He wanted the people to remember God. He wanted them to be sorry for the wrong things they had done. And he wanted them to worship the one true God. But he said to God, Lord, you have done so many amazing things. Please, will you do more amazing things so that the people will know that you are God? And then Habakkuk thanked God. He thanked God for being powerful, more powerful than anything. And he trusted God to take care of his people. You see, boys and girls, the people in Judah, they would be prisoners for a while, but not forever. One day, God would rescue his people and bring them back home. Habakkuk said, no matter what happens, I will be glad because of God. Boys and girls, God always rescues his people. So Habakkuk lived in a day when bad things were happening. Everywhere there were bad things. But you know what? He trusted God to take care of his people and to rescue them. Boys and girls, bad things even happen today. But we can trust that Jesus will come back one day and he will make everything right. He will make everything new. And what a good happy day that will be. All right, boys and girls, you all listened so well to our story this morning. I have a couple questions I want to ask, so I want you to think about what you just heard. Um, and the first question I'm going to ask, who can tell me what true book our story came from today? The Bible. That's right, the Bible. Our story came from the Bible, God's true word. All right, today, our next question. Today, our story was about a prophet, a man who spoke to the people from God. And this man's heart was sad because God's people were not obeying. Who can remember that man's name? It was kind of a tricky word, and we, we practiced saying it together. Did you say Habakkuk? That's right, it's Habakkuk. Habakkuk was a prophet. And we have a book in our Bible that... Um, was written by Habakkuk. All right, boys and girls. Let's see what our last question is. Um, in our story, we learned about some bad things that were, were happening in the world. Um, but Habakkuk trusted God to take care of his people and to rescue them. Who did Habakkuk trust to take care of God's people and to rescue them? That's right. Habakkuk trusted God to take care of his people. Very good. Boys and girls, we also learned that someone is coming back one day and that he will make everything right. Can you remember with me who is coming back and who will make everything right? That's right. Jesus. Jesus is coming back. All right, boys and girls, you all listened so well. And you know what? Miss Mandy realized she forgot to um, share our verse with you. So our verse um, that we're learning about is found in 2 Chronicles. Um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. So I'm going to say this, and you, I'll say it a second time, and you can say it with me. But the first time, um, I'll say it by myself here. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. All right, should we say it together? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. What a beautiful promise we have from God's word, boys and girls. You know, we can talk to God anywhere. We can talk to God in our bedrooms. We can talk to God um, in the car. We can talk to him always. And he always, always hears us. All right, well, thank you, boys and girls, for joining me. Um, and thank you for... Uh, for listening to God's word with me today.